people can't regenerate, right? Wrong. Turns out that humans can regenerate and humans regenerate using stem cells that come from the womb. So when we were developing in the womb, we were only stem cells. When we were born, we had extra stem cells. Introducing Dr. William, a globally recognized medical doctor and researcher trained at Harvard. He is the founder and president of the Angiogenesis Foundation and has made significant contributions to medical science. His work has resulted in over 40 FDA-approved therapeutics and devices for conditions, such as cancer, cardiovascular disease, wound healing, and vision loss. He's also a New York Times best-selling author known for his book, Eat to Beat Disease, The New Science of How Your Body Can Heal Itself. Recently, he released a new book titled Eat to Beat Your Diet, Burn Fat, Heal Your Metabolism, and Live Long. Second uh, health defense system is regeneration. Now, if you were like me, when you were in grade school, your teacher told you starfish can regenerate, salamanders can regenerate, but people can't regenerate, right? Wrong. Turns out that humans can regenerate. So we're throwing that whole chapter out. New book is being written. Humans regenerate using stem cells that come from, come from the womb. So when we were developing in the womb, we were only stem cells. When we were born, we had extra stem cells that didn't get used. It's kind of like having extra cans of paint. When you finish painting in your room, you know, you always get extra paint so you don't run out. But when you're done with painting the room, what do you do? Oh man, I got a few extra cans. You put the lid back on, put them in the garage. For next time, do you need to patch something up? Well, that's exactly what our stem cells do. We got extra stem cells. How many? 750 million extra stem cells when we're born. Those get all packed up in our bone marrow mostly. And so then when we need them over the course of our lives, our body calls out more stem cells to regenerate our heart, our brain, our muscles. You're gonna work out in the gym, get a grow of some new muscle. Those stem cells come flying out in order to be able to regenerate our organs. Now, foods can activate this regeneration system. They can call out more stem cells. And that's why they're part of this defense system. If your organ needs to be repaired, if you're sick, you know, even for COVID, like long COVID needs stem cells to repair some of the damage. That's something, another thing that I'm working on right now. But there are dozens of food that can help you regenerate, including dried fruit, because it's got something called ursolic acid. And another food that can actually help out is dark chocolate. Turns out cacao, which is, by the way, a plant-based food, dark chocolate, okay, um, actually can call out the stem cells in your bloodstream. This has been studied in humans. Got to be like 80% or higher cacao. So you really want to go for that dark, dark chocolate. And remember I told you, you don't want added sugar. So you don't want to just be eating candy bar. Go for the dark, uh, the dark chocolate with as little or no added sugar, refined sugar uh, as possible. Now, there are other foods that can actually stimulate your stem cells as well. Whole wheat, brown rice, barley, oats, even popcorn. These all have fiber and the dietary fiber triggers our stem cells. Swiss chard, mustard greens, collard greens, goji berries, you know, those little tiny little herbal berries. Um, you, can get, you can get them in uh, dried almost anywhere. They contain something called zeaxanthin that is a bioactive, one of mother's natural chemicals, supercharges stem cells so they can help us regenerate even better. And I have something special. I, I found this yesterday when I was out shopping in the Asian market that you may not have seen before. I found some Chinese parsley. Okay, this is not your regular parsley that you make. Um, let's use this parsley, sorry. Celery, Chinese celery. This is Chinese celery. Look how long it is. This is monstrous, okay? I'm backing up. This is Chinese celery. It looks kind of like celery. It's a little wilty. It's much softer. It's not like these hard sticks. You can't, you know, you can't beat somebody with it, but, and it's much more potent than if you break it off and smell it. Wow, it's got this like peppery, more intense, I mean, celery, the smell. Okay, here's what you need to know, that there are studies that have been done to figure out what's in Chinese celery. It's not in regular um, American celery or European celery. It's a chemical called NBP. It's 2 nitro -bis bisphosphonate thiol. No, NBP, 2-NBP. All right, this actually has been shown to stimulate stem cells to come out of your bloodstream. In fact, so powerfully that in China, they've actually extracted the stuff from celery and Chinese celery seeds 
and they've approved it as a drug to treat stroke. So they've done human studies where people have strokes and they're able to give this to NDP, which comes from the celery, and it actually helps more blood vessels to grow and repair and regenerate the damaged stem cells in human brains. Quite amazing, okay? Coming out of this natural food. This is, again, food is medicine. Sometimes the stuff in the food becomes the medicine. All right. Stem cells, the body's natural repair system, hold the key to rejuvenation and longevity. By nourishing these powerhouse cells with the right foods, we can unleash their full potential and defy the aging process. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of superfoods and stem cell health. By nourishing our bodies with these nutrient-rich foods, we can unlock the fountain of youth and live our lives to the fullest. Here's to a long, vibrant, and healthy life. Until next time, be well.